everybody. Coming to you from Tennessee, West Tennessee. Yep. That, let me turn around. Hold on a second. Hold on. This is our home away from home. Our home away from home in a home. <laughs> a home on wheels. And there is Bluebell. And we had this built um, about five years ago. And uh, specifically for when we come and visit my brother. So we have a place to hook up and enjoy. So we do have full hookups here. And um, we have a septic system. We have water, we have electricity. And um, all is good with the world. All is good with the world. So we got in last night. We kind of rushed it because um, <clears throat> I was thinking about going home. Um, we live in Miami. And um, as all of you know, uh, Hurricane Dorian, now a Category 4. Um, looked like she was going to hit uh, South Florida and I was going to go home and help my son in case it did a lot of damage. Um, my son and his family lives with us temporarily and um, he was boarding up the house and getting everything ready. So um, I told him that I was going to go over and um, help him out in case I needed to arrange, make arrangements for cleanup and stuff like that, calling the insurance and all that stuff. But thankfully, I mean, I wouldn't wish this hurricane upon anybody, but I've already been through one. I've been through Hurricane Andrew, and I'll tell you what, I have PTSD really bad, <laughs> and I would not wish this outcome on anybody. I am just so thankful that it is going um, basically skirting the coast rather than going inland and possibly causing a lot of damage. So anyway, this is our property. It's two acres and we have it uh, semi ranch style fencing around the perimeter. And here in Tennessee, you can burn stuff. So we got a little burn pile there that we're going to burn. <laughs> and uh, this is what it looks like all the way around. Eventually, we'll we'll develop it. We'll plan uh, plan on building a house and some buildings. And I would love to have some chickens and a garden. So that's all in the works. But for right now, it's it's an RV pad. All is good with the world. All is good with the world. Look at that. When I built this pad, we only had a 30-foot travel trailer. Then we had a 32-foot um, gas Class C. And now we have a almost 40-foot Super C diesel. And so I built this uh, 16 inches wide, excuse me, 16 feet wide, 40 feet long, and about 15 feet tall. So I was already prepping. I was already prepping for a larger RV. But yeah, it works. It works, and uh, my brother, he loves to mow lawns on his riding lawnmower. <laughs> so he's a regular Forrest Gump, loves to ride that lawnmower. <laughs> hey, you know, he has a calling. He's retired Navy, disabled, and uh, this is what he does. And I'm so thankful that he's here to do that for me and keeps an eye on the property. And um, my sister-in-law does as well. 
they they really look out for us. So here we are. All is good with the world. So one more looks look see around and uh, we are good. We are good. All is good. Okay, everybody. Signing off. Okay, hi everybody. So uh, we're heading out to the back end of our property because uh, Louie found something over there that was interesting. So we're going to go check it out, okay? So here we are. It's just, this is just such a beautiful piece of property. And we are definitely going to develop it further. As a matter of fact, we're working on it. Um, we get home, we're gonna Hello? do some things that will hey, get you. it, get it going. No, it turned on you. So. Oh, gee. did he untie it or anything? Well, that's okay, interesting good. over there, we're gonna see what that is. Okay. Yeah, there's some things here. You didn't what? This is a, a ditch in the back of the property. You didn't seal anything? And, um... Oh, yeah. You guys didn't give me hardly any wind or anything. Everything from a lot of places lands here, so... Right. Uh, we're going to have to be careful about poison yeah. ivy, too. <laughs> so, I'm not going to get too close to these plants. Let's see. Yeah, very interesting, very, very interesting. So we're gonna see. Hey honey, you know what poison ivy looks like? Poison ivy is three leaves, if I remember right. Three leaves. Okay, there's some right here. Three leaves? Uh, yeah, that might be. Yeah, be but careful. thing about Google. Yeah, Google will tell you what this is. Never had to deal with uh, poison ivy and we don't want to start having to... I already itch. You already itch? Well, those are the mosquito bites. If ever you want to get a good mosquito repellent, there he is. <laughs> They will all go to him and not touch you. <laughs> so, and if there is a mosquito to be found, it'll find Louie. <laughs> Gotta love him. Got some sweet blood. Okay, this is this is a nice little nook. Oh, this this is the mound of dirt that you were talking about, Louie? Yeah, we had some work done on the property. As a matter of fact, when they put, um, let me pan this around. When they put the uh, the RV pad and the the cover, they had to dig up some dirt, and so they they put it over here. And it wasn't moved, but it became like a little island, <laughs> and everything just kind of grew out of it. Yeah, very interesting. Where the wild things grow. Mm-hmm. Wow, this, this fence is kind of kind of crooked. I think it's just the, the way the property line is. Because it goes there and then it kind of peaks. Yeah, this is a 2.3 acre lot and it's two lots combined because we bought one, the one in the corner. Is it? Oh, see? Poison ivy, so you got to be careful. Got to be careful, honey.
So what do you want to do? Do you want to get in a spot where you can walk in or Yeah, it is steep. Hey, what about our ladder? Kind of put it across and... What do you think? No? You want me to get in there? No. I'm pretty nimble. All I need is your gloves. Here. Okay, hold on, everybody. Hey, everybody. So, what we thought was down in the ditch was nothing but a piece of foam. <laughs> we thought it was a box. Oh, well. Um, I'm doing some laundry and uh, just hanging the clothes out to dry because it takes less time for it to dry um, than if it were in the... Um, in the dryer so I got the clothes out not just basically the heavy stuff the jeans and stuff like that and I bought these screens at uh, Amazon and I decided to to keep the RV cool on the sides because the RV sits um, north the nose is the north the tail is the south and the Sun rises from the east what we're staring at now and sets in the west on the other side so the Sun is already coming down that uh, kind of overhead and uh, whoa that was a hole <laughs> did you feel that I stepped into a hole anyways so we got um, the screens put on this side for some reason one of the screens the eyelets did not match so we don't understand <laughs> what what's up with that um all of the other ones are fine except that one or is it this one take your pick the eyelets don't match so uh we're using zip ties to kind of bring it all together but this way it'll keep the the rv cooler when the sun rises and when the sun sets it, it already feels cooler on the other side so if I get on the other side of this screen it feels cooler yeah, it surely does it feels cooler so it's it's gonna keep the RV cooler and all is good with the world we got our string lights I don't know if you notice we put our string lights on around the RV. We tested it. Works great. And um, I heard from several YouTubers that if you put this around your RV, it keeps rodents out of your RV. So you don't have to worry about mice and all that stuff getting in your RV. So, yep. All is good. Oh, let me watch for that hole. Let me just stay close over here. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, awfully peaceful around here. Really nice. I like it. And I got a burn pile over there. Can I see it? Uh, right there. I'm going to light it up and enjoy it. Yeah, my brother, um, who lives about four miles away, takes care of the property while we're gone. We try to make it every year, but it had been a couple of years since we've been here. Uh, a lot of issues going on at the time, so we weren't able to, to come down here. Just take short trips, but this one is, is a long trip. And the first one that we've made in the Seneca. Uh, first long trip in the Seneca, and she did really good. Bluebell did great. Except for... <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it yet. But we got a little detour that took us through the city of Birmingham, Alabama. 
and <laughs> there was an overpass that it didn't look tall enough. And I kept telling Louie, I said, honey, I says, I don't think it's tall enough. Oh no, look at those truckers. They're coming through. And I said, those truckers are shorter than we are. <laughs> shorter in height. So um, I said, let me get out and let me take a look seat. So I got out and I said, wait, let me, let me go up there and, and check it out. And he kept following me, <laughs> thinking that I was telling him, come on, come on. Anyways, by the time I, I, I knew he was already through the, uh, the overpass and all, all I saw was I looked up and I saw all these scrapings on the top of the overpass on the ceiling. And I'm thinking, oh no. <sighs> so I checked my RV uh, AC covers and they looked good. So <laughs> they were still on. They were still on. So I'm telling you, I am never going to do that again. Uh uh. Boy, my stress level was so high. It was run dunkless. <laughs> Okay, so let me just take a look over here. There's sure a lot of horse flies around here. And these are they're oak oak trees. But they're already shedding their leaves. That's a beautiful shady area here. I bet you I could put like a little little canopy over here and just sit down and relax. What do you guys think? Look at that. Look at this shade. Yes. Yes, sir, Bob. Let's take a look at what we got going there. Mm-hmm. Nice. So I'm standing on the original parcel that we bought and it was already fenced it's it was beautiful nice and level and it came with a nice gate I don't know if you could see that gate over there and the property next to it was up for sale but they were asking quite a bit more than this one not sure why but we waited we were patient we waited and about three years later, um, it was still up for sale. And so we called and uh, the price had dropped to almost half price. So we snatched it up. We snatched it up and uh, we extended the fence over and all is good. All is good with the world. You know, and it's really peaceful here. Really nice. This way is a golf course. We get some balls on the side. That's actually the range over there. So we do get some balls coming over here. It's okay. We just hit them back. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> so, really nice. See, this is a nice gate. Nice wrought iron gate. We're going to have to redo the, the driveway because eventually this is where the house is going to sit, right over here. And this this place on the other side is probably going to be maybe a storage building, a workshop. I want to have some chickens. I always dreamed about having my own eggs for breakfast. I want to have some ducks. I want to have uh, a little um, vegetable garden, grow some fruit trees. I hear peaches grow great over here. So, so now we're in the shade. All is good. Yep. Little car did great coming over here. Toad, fantastic. 
Okay, everybody, signing off. Have a good one.